everybody. Laura here. So glad you're joining me. I have a project to share with you today using some goodies from the You Have My Heart release by Simon's The Stamp. I'm starting with the nested heart dies. These are cool beans. Now, before I cut them apart, uh, I love nested dies. You get all the different sizes because you never know when you're going to need a big one or a small one. You got them all. It's just great. So before I cut them apart, I wanted to try to do something real cool. I might not ever even cut them apart if I don't have to because I love them how they're all put together. So I've got a panel of Nina Solar White and I'm going to ink blend. This whole puppy is getting ink blended. I'm starting with duckling you can see my rainbow of ink pads above me i just love these colors even if i wasn't going to use them on this card i'd still set them there just to brighten your day and just to make me smile that's how i feel about these colors together i mean it goes from the yellows to the oranges to the pinks to the hot mama on the end is just a win-win so i'm doing a little melon and i'm working my way in in the center it's going to be hot mama and i'll blend it out to the duckling. Seems impossible, but it's not. And then we're going to die cut the whole panel with those nested hearts. It's going to be, it's just going to rock your world. What I'm trying to do here is burn some calories because by the time I'm done ink blending this panel, I might have to take off this big, thick gray house sweater that I wear every day. What I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to burn some calories. This is how you burn calories with card making. You do ink blending and you blend the whole panel until you're sweating. And then you can you can you can rationalize eating all those Christmas cookies that you just ate. <laughs> Did you guys make Christmas cookies? I actually I didn't make any. I was wrapping presents and I told my older two kids, I said, if you guys want to have Christmas cookies, somebody is gonna have to help mama out. So my son, he actually is a really good baker. He can make great apple pies. And so he has a an oatmeal cookie that everybody just loves. So he made a batch of oatmeal cookies and then my daughter made those peanut butter ones, you know, with the Hershey kiss in the middle. Yes. Yeah, so if it wasn't for those two, we would not have any Christmas cookies, but it might've been a good thing because I've eaten more than I care to admit. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting in the center with hot mama, working my way out, trying to blend it seamlessly into the duckling. It seems like an impossible task, but it just takes a little elbow grease. So once you get that all blended, we're going to run it through the big shot with the nested heart dies. Now that smallest little heart is going to be where the hot mama is. And so you'll see how it just kind of like gradiates out. Is that a word? Gradiates? It's gradient. It's gradient ink blending with the hearts. We are having a heart heyday. We're getting ready for Valentine's Day. Hey, even though we just got done with Christmas, we are moving on to the Valentine's Day. Anyway, I love hearts and love. I think it really can go any time of the year. So now I have my card base. This is a Nina Solar White. And I'm putting some of that tape runner all over. We're going to start adhering all these hearts. But I'm going to kind of give it a little dimension. I'll put some flat onto the tape and pop some up with a little foam. So this is my outer part, my outermost part of my ink blended panel. I'm going to kind of cock it off to the side because I like to do that. You know, I like to spice things up on a little angle. Just, you know, gives a little something, something. When you want to just spice things up, you know, tilt it to the side. That's what I say. So I'm putting a little foam tape on this first heart and that's going to give it a little pop. And then the next one is going to be flat. So we're going to like go in and out, and in and out, or up and down and up and down, whatever you want to call it. Okay, listen, forgive me. My brain is complete mush. If you knew how many things I had going on this December, you would cry with me. I mean, I've got three of my kids, three of my five have birthdays in December. So tomorrow we are having the big family party. We lump all three together and we bring everybody over and celebrate all three. Because if you tried to do three different ones in December, I think we would all pass out. And okay, so, and then we've got some house guests coming from Germany. They're kind of like our German family. They come and visit us and we love them. But it is a very busy time. So I've been cleaning because, you know, I don't want them to see how we actually really live. We live like uh, cavemen here. That, <laughs> so we need to put away all the 150 pairs of shoes we have in our entry. I had to clean the bedding, clean the sheets, clean the shower. Oh my, that's my least favorite thing to do ever is to get in that shower with a sponge and my cleaning supplies and wipe it all down every nook and cranny and then you got to spray it and by that time you're all wet and you're cranky. So you just head up to the kitchen and have another Christmas cookie. I mean, it's the only cure. 
<laughs> okay, so we're just about done adhering all our hearts. And we get that last little one popped up. And then we'll go ahead and trim off the excess around the sides. Now, I don't normally show this on camera when I trim off the excess, but I want to show you this time because I love you. Uh, this is how I do it. My paper trimmer is one of those guillotine, and I love it. This puppy is a Cadillac. So I try to find the most flattest edge I can. So I line it up my, my finger. I feel along there, see if it's nice and straight and parallel. Then I get that little bit right there. Now I know that I have that edge right there is going to be what I can go off from to make sure that all my sides are square and you just butt it up to the top and you just trim it. It's really easy peasy and you have perfectly straight, sharp, clean edges just like so. And that is how I trim off excess all the time when I'm trimming off cars. Now I have this brand new on edge love you die. This is so cool. There's two of these, these on edge dice. It says love you. There's another one that says thank you. I think they're awesome. They give you that cool partial die cut look that I try to do so often, but this just does all the hard work for you. You can see when I lift this up, see how the love you, it stays intact on the bottom panel. So you can pop this up and then your sentiment this is going to be the sentiment for our card so there's there's no stamping on this card it's just nothing but die cut ink blending and love the most important ingredient in every card is the love yes and um so i took my ruler and my craft knife and kind of trimmed along the sides just to extend that out so it would fit the width of our card and there you go look at that how fun this is so awesome i'm in love with this kind of partial die cut look this is our going to be our sentiment and uh, then i popped that up just keeping it nice and clean and bright white i thought it was a great contrast with such colorful rich hearts and then again with my paper trimmer i'm going to trim off the excess this makes it so easy when you just butt it up to the top you know you're going to get straight parallel lines and this card is finished look at clean graphic full of love full of color thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time mm -hmm.